All right, so as you guys know, I'm a bit of a microcar enthusiast. I've never really gotten a chance to take a look at a Kony wide pickup. This uh, type of truck was produced in Japan as a competitor to the Subaru 360 Sambar. It never really took off, and the ones that you find nowadays are usually missing some parts, which are hard to find because there's no support. But I thought I'd do just a little bit of a uh, overview. Uh, this fella has taken really good care of his truck and he's fixed things and modified it and made it work, which is incredible. So we'll just take a look at the interior here first. I may not be able to explain everything, but uh, it's very simple. Uh, four speed, it appears to be. I'm looking at the gear shift here and I'm seeing four speed reverse. I'm not sure what this is about. It could be a clutch. We have choke and a fan controls between the seats. If you look at the seat back, it's basically just the back of the cab. It's that small. And the steering wheel is almost like a Greyhound bus. It's completely upright. And then he's got a custom dash in it. Really pretty neat. Uh, when I say custom, I mean a custom gauge cluster. It's a... Uh, it's got a vent there for your air conditioning, for your feet, that opens up. And of course, you're looking right at the back of the headlights. This is your, your knees are your crash protection. So your seats are just literally pads that sit on the chassis of the truck. That's your, that's how tight and small it is in there. But nonetheless, let's take a look. It's got normal opening doors, which are of course all steel. The engine is sort of mid-ship, it's, oh, he's got a BMW engine in there. That's a BMW bike engine. I thought it was a Coney engine. I did not know that. No wonder there's some, okay, so the gear shift, ah, oh, well, <laughs> I don't exactly know what's going on there. And there's a, what the heck is that? Some type of electrical motor. Well, like I said, the Coney's are very... It's got dual exhaust. Yeah, that's a bike engine transplant. And there's been some frame modifications there. Interesting. Little axle out back, little gas tank. If I get the owner, I will find out a little more about the engine conversion. I did not realize it's a, a two cylinder BMW bike engine. He's got a hitch on the back here for towing. He actually towed this car in with this hitch. And a toolbox on the bed, which is a flatbed conversion. Pretty neat little rig. Let's take a look at it. There we go, Tony. Pretty neat little rig is right. But unobtainium parts. Uh, had a lot of people call me, they buy one of these and they're like, oh, I wanna make it go. Well, obviously you're gonna have to repower it or figure out a way to make it run. Most of them don't and there's no parts available but I'm so glad he got it going we're gonna use it for our uh, PA system for our sh uh, for our show <laughs> so we got the speakers and the disco light set up on the on the roof but that would be a 1970s or late 60s Coney wide pickup very rare very uncommon in the United States and probably in the world now because I don't think Coney stayed in business much later than mm, 1971 or so really neat little truck. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see if I can get some more details on the engine setup. It's a bit of a surprise, but that's the way the microcar world is. Thanks for watching.